So this is the final circuit of milestone 5, the data path unit. Um, first of all, we we'll have a 2, two to 1 multiplexer. A then will be a 4-bit register and then the inverter for both X and Y. And this comparator will be showing the result of whether X is equal to Y, X is greater than Y or X is less than Y. And then this adder will be performed the two per complements depends on whether the X is inverted or Y is inverted. And then the last part will be the 4-bit register, uh, which, will pre uh, uh, will, which will present the uh, last output of GCB uh, when the enable here is 1. So the first one will be the 2 to 1 marks. Uh, it, we are using the LPN marks and it will choose the data uh, uh, for X when the selector is 1 and uh, it result from adder if when the selector is 0. And then the next part will be our 4-bit register. This will be the schematic diagram of our 4-bit register. We are using a 2 to 1 marks and also 4-D flip-flop. Uh, it will take the input when the load is 1 and will take the result when the load is 0. And then for the inverter, this will be the schematic diagram of our inverter. Uh, it, uh, when the invert is invert input invert here is one, it will only invert the input D here. If it's zero, the D will remain the same. And then, uh, okay, and um, then run this. I will simulate this circuit. Okay. Okay. Here is for the uh, input when x is uh, 10 and y is 2. Uh, it will be x greater than y. Mm, as we can see here, when the selector is 1, uh, it will load both x and y into the circuit. And then uh, the circuit will run. You can see here x is greater than y when the when it shows that x is greater than y, uh, y load and x load and uh, y sub will be high in order to uh, run the circuit. Uh, because uh, x is greater than y, so we need uh, y sub to invert the y in order to perform x minus 2. And then the last part we can see here when the uh, enable here is I only that we will show the output of GCB which is 2. And then we will try another way around uh, when y uh, when x is less than y. Okay here will be uh, here will show that the x same step uh, the, when the selector is 1 uh, it will load both x and y into the circuit. And here we can show that the uh, x is less than y. And then in order to run the circuit, we need to uh, set y load to high and also x sub in order to change x into uh, x prime in order to perform y minus x. And then when the enable here is high, it will show the output of uh, the data you need, which is 1. Um, here will be, uh, that's all for milestone 5. Okay, um, so next is milestone 6. Can you all see my screen? Yes. Okay. So first, uh, in order to do milestone 6, we have to do algorithm first. So this is the algorithm, and to start, we get the value of the x and y, and we see, compare the value of the x and y. If x and y, x is not equal to y, we see if x is greater than y, y equal to y minus x. If x is low, lower, uh, less than y, the x is equal to x minus y. 
and it will back to compare the value of the x and y. If x is equal to y, GCD will equal to x, and we will output the GCD. Okay, so next we have to convert from the algorithm to the high level ASM. So first we reset and into the set one, a uh, set zero, as set zero, and the input goal is the input goal is one. We go to the next and the x we set the x to the first four bit number and y to the second four bit number. And in next we compare the x and y. If, if x is not equal to y and x is greater than y, y is equal to y minus x. And if x is less than y, y x will equal to x one minus y. And we will get back to the set one and compare. And if the x is equal to y, the value will become high. And the goal, the input goal, if input goal is one, we will repeat the value equal to one. If it's zero, we will reset all the process. So next is low level ASM. So then input go and y uh, we set x selector to one and y selector to one and go to the set one and compare the value of the x and y. Then if x is greater than y, we make the y sub and x not to high and back to the x one. And if x is less than y, so the x sub and y not will be high. And we will compare the x and y again if x and y is equal then uh, output and label will be high. And if goal is high, we will repeat. If goal is zero, we will reset all the process. Okay, so that's all. So after explaining the diagram, the next thing that we will present is the controller. This controller is actually based on the diagram that I explained earlier. This part right here is based on the next state equation from the diagram and this one is from the output equation forming this whole circuit and right now i'm going to simulate it this is the waveform okay so what we can take from here uh this right here uh, when the go is high it initiates the sequence in the circuit so it starts this X and Y thing. So when X is greater than Y, uh, it's X is equal to X minus Y. And when Y is greater than X, Y is equal to Y minus X, just like in the diagram. So right here, X up is Y sub is, X up is X equal to X minus Y, and Y sub is Y equal to y minus x so it will keep doing that until it is equal to each other and then after that the on will be high uh, signaling that the sequence is finished or over just like what was explained in the diagram okay that's for the controller so what about the when we combine the controller and the data path. We get this one. This one right here. This is the controller. This one right here. This is the data path from the milestone file. So let us simulate this one. And perfect. The compilation is finished. Now let's go to the waveform. This is the let's simulate this one. So basically still the same as the previous one. When the go is high, it initiates the whole sequence. And then X and Y will go to the, just like the X sub and Y sub earlier, uh, getting the output for this DCD. This one is high here. And 
that's all for the uh, CCD CUDU. Before we com uh, we program the the circuit into the CPLD, we need to add a binary to PCD uh, seven segment decoder from the milestone before. Uh, it turns the GCD input into the output to be connected to the seven segment. And also we need to add a prescaler uh, for the clock. Okay, so here in our CPLD for the milestone five and six, uh, here are the input pins for input one and input two and the seven segment display and the push button. Uh, in here, we have uh, input of uh, 12 and uh, 3. So if I click, it should uh, show 3, as we can see here. And if I change the input to, say, uh, 2, for example, so 12 and 2, uh, the GCD will be 2. And if we try a different input, for example, uh, uh, seven and uh, six. Uh, it should sh show one. And if we finally, if we put the uh, all high, uh, fifteen and fifteen. Oops. Uh, it should show 15, and uh, that's it for the CPLD.